look at it. Are you rolling? Uh huh. All right, now we got our bands. And we got our rubbers here. Usually, what you do is you bend these back. But I got a perfect fit here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Can I get down there? Slide this. I told you. Now we're gonna slide here. Can you see? Alright, we'll slide here. Take this. Put our bands on. Okay, we want to make sure this is nice and straight. Okay. Usually, we have lines here. You'll see lines on them. These got numbers, but it got lines here. All the way around this pipe here. This will tell, this will tell you if you're if you in line with the pipe that's behind it. We got a piece of cast iron, so we can't really um, eye this or level it with this. But I can see that this is in the middle of it right here. Okay. Because I don't see my level. Oh. I got my level around somewhere. I'm a little bit too far to go grab my level, so I'm not going to tighten it now. I'm just going to put it in place until I come back. Okay. Just want to tighten up on it a little bit. This is the hard part of plumbing without a helper. Don't want to hold it in level for you so you can do certain things, but I get used to it. I do a little untraditional, but I get it done. Put your primer on. Clean up real good. Some people think primer is you just put purple stuff on it, but you actually clean the pipe. If you got marks on them, or if you got numbers or something or lines on your pipe, you actually clean them off with this. Put your glue on here. Twist, you twist and hold for about seven seconds. The more experience you get, the faster you can go with it. Okay, all I want is a nipple off of this because I'm going to go right in from in here. Can I get down there? I'm going to go right. From here to here, so I don't have much room. I'm gonna nipple right into this, drop down into that 90 like that. Okay. Alright, we 
We back in action. Keep it open. We back in action. So now we got our nipple. We primed it up. We uh. We primed our our Y. So we're gonna put some glue in here. Get as much as glue as possible. You don't want want to take no chances. Okay. Go ahead and do all uh, four sides. Go ahead and do all four sides. Okay. Do the top first. Twist it. Hold it. Put the bottom in. Push it. Hold it. Now, if you see these lines right here, can you see these lines? Get it closer. Come a little closer. See these lines right here? They tell you if the pipe is actually plumb. Um, because these lines will line up. And it's letting you know that it's straight, going straight up and down right here. <coughs> so, we good. Okay, pause. All right, now we size up our pipe a little unconventional here because, like I said, I don't have a helper with me all the time, and I got to do what I have to do. So, but it got to be legal. So I put, I butt up my pipe up against there, and I see how far I got to cut. I got to go in the hub. I'm not going to measure it up to here. That's the realm of the pipe. I'm going to go in the hub because that's where this pipe has to go in. So from here to the back of that C. To about right here is going to be good, right after that D. So I'm going to take my saw right behind that D and I'll give myself a little bit more. It's better to go more than less. Right here is called burr. You want to get this burr off. That's sharp. You don't want to touch that. Okay. Get all your burr off. Before you get your primer, you get all your burr off like that. Come on. Look at that. Then you get your primer. Like I said before, the primer. It's meant to clean all of this ink off and all of the dirt off or any glue. They have some clear primer you can use if you ever get this uh, glue or purple stuff in the wrong places. They got some remover to clean this stuff up because this primer is like paint. When you're working on a house and you get it on the floor or something. It's an ugly situation. Okay, we'll go in here. Get that. Okay, now, before we hook this up, <laughs> we got to do that in right there. Pause. So we'll be back. everybody to work down here. It's the whole pipe. Hold on the pipe. Okay, that's where I'm tapping into the cast iron right there. Coming in. This is my 90 going up. Okay, I'm going to put a P-trap upstairs. 
This is my pipe. This is good. And this is my connection to the to the mic. Clean that burr off. I made a cut here. I'm gonna piss the union plumbers off because even though I get it right, I don't use the tape measure like everybody else. Because I use my experience. And try to make things quick. Fast as possible. Drain this water out of here. No matter what, man, don't try to glue nothing with water in it, man. You'll be out here all night. You always end up with a leak. So you want to drain as much as possible. Okay. I want to get a T in there. Where's my T? Okay, I got a T here. Got my glue. Got my glue. Okay, I want to get a T fit in here. I could dry fit it real quick. And another thing about remodeling or working in a house that was already here, you got room and you can slide stuff. Thank you. And that looked like a good tight fit right there. See that? That's going to be a good tight fit. So I don't even have to cut anymore. Okay? It's flexible. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna mess the video up, man. Nobody playing. This is work. Why? People out here working hard. Don't talk, be quiet. Okay. Now, at the same time, we're gonna get this one. It's our 90. 